So here we go. His European middleweight title defence for Matt Macklin here at the Liverpool Echo Arena against Ruben Veron. We're just about to get underway with the boxing. Macklin will be looking to make a real statement here tonight. He needs to push on for, for world level. He's been calling out world number one, Sergio Martinez. He's had that stunning victory over Paul Williams. How good do you think he can be, Colin? Com competitive at world level? Uh, yes, I mean, he'll be a competitive, all right, but whether he's. Depends, of course, on this again, which one of the champions he's going to fight. But uh, he's now 28 years of age. If he doesn't get a shot within the next 12 months, he never will. Came through a, uh, with a real good class when he uh, when he turned pro. Carl Froch and uh, David Haight, contemporaries in the, uh, the amateur sport, they've gone on to lift world titles. Macklin says it's uh, his time to do it. But he gave up a law degree, didn't he, to become a pro professional fighter? Yeah, he did. ABA champion as a teenager, something of a, a checker career as a pro. He signed for Frank Warren. Almost a decade ago, and uh, was unbeaten in his first few fights. Then he challenged for the uh, the English light middleweight title against Andrew Facey. Lost very narrowly on points over ten. Stayed at light middle. Challenged uh, Jamie Moore for the the British light middleweight title in 2006 and was uh, stopped yep. then. It was a great fight, wasn't it, Colin? Fight of the year, wasn't it? An unbelievable fight. And uh, Jamie Moore's ringside tonight watching him. Yeah, Jimmy Moore now retired. I think the uh, the weight was really killing Macklin, wasn't it? Yes, yes. He's, uh, yeah, he found it very difficult in the end, and that dr that drained him. Move to uh, to middleweight. And it suited him more. He's un unbeaten since that Moore fight. Ten fights ago. Had a run in uh, 2008. He had uh, three consecutive uh, points win. Points wins over ten, including one over uh, Luis Ramon Campos, the Ori boy Campos. That was over in Dublin. That was a good win, that one. Announced Macklin as a, a possible talent on the world stage. On paper, Veron, a decent test for Macklin, but shouldn't trouble him too much. No, uh, but he's a, a compact boxer. He he's obviously knows his way around the ring. There's no doubt about that one. Um, you know, he's been around long enough to know how to handle himself. And uh, he uh, he's, a, as I say, he's, he's a compact boxer. Doesn't seem to take too many risks. He's not, well, he looks like he's not going to take too many risks. Um, and it's, this one probably won't be as explosive as uh, the Kell Brook fight. I think uh, Macklin will have to think his way to victory in this one. Yeah, maybe a bit more of a, of a chess match. He's the second. Uh, chess matches at the moment. Both boxers just looking to the other to uh, to make the first move.
the shot there from Macklin. Maybe a bit low. That was a good right hand there. Just beginning to warm up, isn't it, Colin? Yes, uh, Macklin's getting home in this round, um, <coughs> even on the inside. He's uh, fired a couple of uppercuts through uh, Veron's guard. Um, but Veron's cagey. He's not opened up, and that makes it more difficult for uh, Macklin. Macklin's face just beginning to redden here. staying with him ferocious pace in this second round Ron on the front foot now yeah, one's backing him up he's having a good round this round Ron the last 30 seconds yeah he's just got Macklin's attention with one or two of those shots that he's landed and he's also punching to the body for Ron that comes Macklin though The fighters had to go looking for the other in the, the second half of this round. No. Oh, some very good hooks from uh, Macklin exploding on uh, Veron's head. Back comes Veron, though, mixing uppercuts and left hooks. There's not much to choose between them, is there? No, for me, Macklin might just have had the edge, but... Yeah, I think Macklin's winning the round, too. Because he's... He's landed more scoring shots than Veron, but uh, there's not a lot to choose between them at this stage. That was a good round, that one. Plenty of action. Both boxers exchanging punches on the inside. Looks as if we might be in for a good fight, this, Colin. Yes, it's a, <coughs> it's a fight fans fight. I've got a feeling we'll step up the pace a bit from now on and put more pressure on Veron and maybe to get him to oh open up because Veron has not got a bad defence although a flurry of punches from Macklin in that round got through to the head but uh, Veron uh, um, presumably takes a good shot although he's been stopped twice that's not a lot in 40 fights but out of the five losses, he's, he's been stopped twice. But um, he went the distance with Sturm, so. That looks good on the record. Yeah, he's been uh, 10 rounds a few times, actually. Only been 12 the once. Uh, 12 twice, sorry. Ruben Veron. Arena really filling up now. Must be pretty close to a full house. I imagine they're enjoying this one. Again, a good start to the round this for Veron. Mixing well to head and body. Macklin work hard here, isn't it? Yes, he's putting in a oh, very good right uppercut then um, <coughs> from Macklin. Yes, he's working hard uh, and he's, he's throwing quite a lot of leather. And uh, although Vermont is taking a lot on the gloves and the arms and the shoulder, some aren't getting through. But he's firing back. And again, the referee's told him to keep his punches up. And he doesn't like the Spaniards body punching very much. <coughs> Macklin really flew into some body shots then. And just takes a left hand. He's dangerous with that left hand, Veron. 
Fair Macklin's marked up under that right eye. Well, good body shot that from Macklin. That's better for Macklin. Yeah, there is a, there's a bruise, a big one developing under that right eye of Macklin. Now he's really stringing some punches together. That was a good left hand to the body, though, from Veron. I think Macklin felt that. He's now trapped on the ropes. He just gets clipped with the left hand. Not crisis time yet for Matt Macklin, but he's finding this difficult, isn't he, Colin? Heavy going. Well, yes. I mean, Veron, as I say, he's, he's, he's a good pro. He knows, he's, he knows his way around the ring. And, but I thought Macklin got on top in that round. Mick Williamson goes to work on that mouse under Matt Macklin's right eye. He does mark up quite easily, Matt Macklin. That was a good round, that third. As Colin said, Macklin probably had the edge. But just at the, uh, the final 30 seconds or so, back came Veron. Getting uh, on the repeat of round three, we can see how Macklin scored inside with the uppercuts. But uh, the one's got a, a poker face. Um, we don't know how badly hurt he is because he's got the same expression all the time, deadpan. It's Macklin first onto the attack in the uh, as the fourth begins. Marches out and throws a couple of shots as the bell goes. From Macklin and up a couple as well. Body oh, shots good now. Right to the body by Macklin. Now that calls Vaughan to open up and try and fire back, and that's when he'll be an easier target. Call Macklin with a good body shot there. Now he's going to he's going to take a point off him, I think. No, he's, he's just warned the referee, Tanner referee, for the third time, has warned uh, Vaughan for punching on the border, certainly below the borderline. Macklin does, is not in distress by it, though. Oh, good shot that from Macklin. Double jab and then a right hand. Does the same again. Digs in those body shots. And this time Macklin complains, and I think Veron might be in trouble here. Now Veron, oh, of course, nice Macklin back. took retribution and he hit uh, Veron low, and the referee's remonstrating now with uh, Macklin. Tip for tap there. Oh, Macklin just took a shot there. Off balance maybe for a, a second or so. And again tries to dig in the body shots. What Macklin mustn't do is lose concentration and allow his temper to get the better of him. That mark under the right eye. Him to look a bit worrying for Macklin. Oh, that's a very low blow from Veron. It's been on the referee's blind side because he didn't react at all. Well, the next time, surely he'll take a point off. Oh, another one went in there. He's a right on the borderline, these body shots from Veron. Trapped on the ropes at the moment, the Spaniard. Now he takes a left hand, he beckons Macklin in. Well, he's hitting with quite a few uh, hooks, Macklin, but Veron, his legs have remained strong he hasn't buckled he hasn't wobbled either he's got a very good chin or those punches don't carry as much power as we think they do Macklin's very busy in this round throwing a lot of leather swings and misses there Macklin how have we got there 10 seconds Not a tough round this Blood seeps from Veron's nose at the end of the fourth. 
the Spaniard will be pleased with the, the, the way the fight's gone so far. He might not be winning on the cards, but he's got a match and plenty to think about. Well, he's very competitive. But I still think Macklin is winning the rounds. You see Macklin's chest heaving in the uh, in his corner. He did put a lot of effort into that round, Macklin. Ferron looks a bit more calm and collected. Oh, we've just seen a replay of that low blow. I think the referee was entitled to take a point off in there because that was the third time. At the moment, Macklin doesn't look like he's got the power to stop for one. But one punch can change the whole course of a fight, as we know. This has been the pattern of the fight so far. A slow start to the rounds, but then they really get going. Up close. Nice little combination that from Macklin. Ron's not been quite so potent in this round. I'll just dig in a, a blow right on the uh, on the belt line of Macklin. Macklin throws out the jab. Crowd like that, he just made for on Mason. Landed with some good shots of his own. <laughs> much better round this for Macklin. He's, he's not taking so much punishment, has he, Colin? No, he's decided to box behind the jab or been told to box behind the jab. Maybe he's decided that this fella's too tough to knock out. His punches that Macklin is throwing seem to be making a dent in Verona at all. No body shots there from the, uh, the champion. who's on the back foot at the moment. Three jabs and then rolls it into a hook as well. Ferron is marching forward. And uh, I think he might be having a point taken off here, Ferron. For a low blow, and he is. Yeah. Yeah, the point has gone up. Well, it was inevitable that was sort of going to happen with one more low shot. Macklin is now doubled over, he was in some discomfort and the referee is allowing him some time to recover. Is the European rule the same as the world rule? Has he, has he got five minutes? I think so, yeah. It's going to be long enough for him to recover. Took some advice from uh, both promoter Frank Warren and his younger brother Seamus. You see the replay there of the, uh, the low bloke. Left hand, right where the sun don't shine. I'll tell you, if he does it again, he might be disqualified. Yeah, I think he, if he does it again, there'll be another point off, and then he does yeah. it again, and I think he might be in trouble. And he certainly seems to have got Macklin's dander up because he went straight, tore into Veron as soon as the referee said, box on. His dander might be up, Colin, but I don't think anything else will be if he keeps taking those low blows. Absolutely. Go to uh, to Macklin's corner. I can't really see too much. I think Mick Williamson cuts man. He's been working on that that mark under his right eye. And there 
has Varon in, uh, in his corner. Been a close fight. How have you got it, Colin? Well, I've got Macklin ahead because I think he's done oh, enough in, to win near enough every round. But I don't know how the judges are, are scoring it, but I don't think Varon has done enough in each round to, to take the rounds. And, of course, I made that a 10-8 because of the, uh, of the point deduction. But there's no doubt that Varon is a tough customer because he does take in some pretty hefty head, head punches without flinching. And he's still marching forward. It's been a good fight, the fight of the night so far. I must admit, I, I looked at this one on paper. I thought Maxlin would have a, a relatively straightforward time of it. We're not even at the halfway mark, and Maxlin marked up under both eyes. Again, take some punishment on those ropes. Yeah, Vaughan scoring uh, well so far in this round. And Macklin's not firing uh, back at him at the moment. Quiet around this one. Well Understandable. It is for Macklin. I think Perron is outworking Macklin in this round. And he's not bad in inside work either. He looks strong, doesn't he, when they're getting close? Yep. He, he whips a right uppercut in when he's Good close. Good fast hands there from the, 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 the Spaniard. Back comes Macklin, though. Yeah, but short, a short burst, nothing more. He's still going on the back foot. Much better round by Veron. Nice uppercut though from Macklin. Back comes Veron with one of his own. A long right hand too. Oh, good, good right cross yeah. from uh, Veron. Now, now, now Macklin has been warned for using his head. really being forced to fight hard Macklin to get control of the centre of the ring as he tried to do at the end of that round. That was uh, Vaughan's best round for me. 